But this point is, of course, supreme. So I'm going to be blunt about this as we finish. Jesus is Lord. He must be Lord in your life. Right? I, I, I don't know if anybody has ever worked that out yet, ever. Maybe one or two exceptions, you know? He must be Lord, not because you are unlovable, not because you are unsavable, but because Jesus is eternal love and eternal salvation. Amen? He is the eternal Savior. But it gets better. He's Lord. And He must be Lord of your life, not a bit part actor of your life, like He's wheeled out on special occasions, including it could just be Sundays, but we also know that we're in a culture where Jesus is wheeled out at Christmas and He's wheeled out at Easter and people go and pay homage and then they come back the following year if they are spared. But we forget that Jesus not only built the stage and wrote the play that He's acting in and invites us into, He built the theatre of the world as well. And here we are on the stage and wheeling Him out. He wants all of it. Because he wants all of you. And he wants all of you to go and tell all of them everything. Everything. 